hello beautiful people welcome to my channel please subscribe okay if you've not subscribed so thanks for coming around so today we'll be drafting a basic dress block and these are my tools that i'll be using okay these are my ruler i have long ruler and short ruler with my marker i also have my hip curve ruler okay so you'll be needing your french curve too okay so guys um on the screen is the required measurement that i'll be using today to draft this basic dress block and to tell you the truth every design comes with a basic block okay so for the dress this is what we're going to pattern today okay so let's start thanks for coming around okay i appreciate so from that point i'll be coming down by two inches and this two inches is just um I just decided to come down by two inches okay so that we can have we are will, will label our shoulder and you so it will also help you to understand this uh, tutorial so i've uh, recorded it as our shoulder so from that point i'll first measure my my shoulder to bust point which is 11.5 i've marked it so i'll just move my ruler and roll it over okay good so i'll write it my boy's point that's bp then from that shoulder line i'll still measure my half length okay my half length is a 16 which i've also taken note of it and i will it over with a ruler good so that is my half length good so from there i'll also put my tape and measure my hip line where my hip is i measured from my shoulder to my hip which i've already marked now and is um 28 so i've recorded this as my hip okay so the next will be a full length so i'll still point my tape to the shoulder line and measure my full length which is 40 good so i'll quickly roll it and label it as my full length okay so coming back to the shoulder line i'm going to measure three inch from this point okay in okay i've measured three inches i'll still come down by another three inches okay so it's three by three neckline or neck block okay so that's it i'll use my french curve and give it a round curve okay that this for round neck okay then from that's my shoulder line i'll divide my shoulder into two my shoulder is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 so i'll quickly mark 7.5 there then from that 7.5 come down by 1.5 inches i'll connect it with my ruler good then take it back to my neck block good so these are armhole measurements to get your armhole is your bust divided by six plus 1.5 so what i got there is what i marked and i'm going on it now to connect the dots okay so right now at that point i'm going to make a straight line good so right now guys i will label it as my chest line okay so right now we are going to put our measurement on this our all our body measurements okay the horizontal measurement but for the chest line and bust point whatever you get on your chest line will still be what you input on your bust point okay so my my bust is 41 41 plus 2 43 divided by 4 i'll have um, um 10.75 so it's 10.75 that i marked on both lines and i've connected them together okay Coming to our half length, you add one inch for your dart. So my my measurement is 34, 34 divided by 4. I'll be having 8.5 plus one inch for my dart. I'll be having 9.5. So that is 9.5 that I marked there. So I'll connect it back to the ball's point line, like so. Okay. So right now on our hip, my hip is 45, 45 divided by 4 is 11.25. So which I've marked. So I'll give my use my hip curve ruler and connect it back to the hip line from the waistline to the hip line. Okay. 
So I'll use my straight ruler and connect it to my full length, okay? Like so. Good. So right now we'll be locating our dart. So my dart is 4.5. I got it through my nipple to nipple measurement. I divided it by two, okay? So from this bust point line, I'm coming that by one inch. So that will determine where this line will stop. Okay, you don't have to sew your dart to your bust point. So from this other part, I'm going to come down by six inches. Okay. So I'll connect the line together to form a straight line. Okay, good. I'm trying to blend it very well. Good. So right now I'm going to open this point by 0.5 on both sides. Remember we added one inch while calculating our half length. That's our waistline. We added one inch for this that. So we're taking it back from here. Okay, good. So I'm connecting the whole thing to form our diamond darts good so right now we're going to get our armhole curve so from this our shoulder slant to our chest line i'll get the midpoint i've marked it so from that midpoint i'll come in by 0.75 okay so that is it i'll connect those doors together straight to my chest line okay so we are through with our armhole curve okay so right now I'm going to my nose um, two inches from my hip line. So that two inches, okay, is what I'll place on our full um, full length line. Okay, so I'm marking two inches there. So I'm trying to curve this dress block so that it will have fitting. Okay, so just connect it from that your hip line straight to your full length line, just like so. Okay so this is to enable this dress to have fitting so right now we're going to locate our bust that okay that's the next thing so from this our chest line we'll measure to a half length and also get the midpoint that will be where we as in mark our bust that okay so I'm marking it right now that's our bust that so from that point straight to that our that line okay so we're going to draw a straight line like this okay so that is it so from there i'm going to open it up by 0 0.5 like so on both sides and connect it okay from that this point i'll come down by one inch so i do not get to that boss point line okay So this is the way you should draft your boss that. So I'm just adding that so that on your fabric, if you're cutting directly, you can add this stuff so that you will not fall short of fabric when you take out your dart from your bust. Okay. So right now, this one inch that I added on my bust will affect the length if I take it out. So right now, I'm adding one inch at the hem so that when i take in my boss that it will not affect the length so i'm connecting it back to the cf like so you see good so that is all you need for your dress block okay okay so we are going to pattern this our back this is a new paper so right now i'm marking two inches down from that the beginning of the paper so that we can have your place our shoulder line so with my ruler I'm marking it now to give it a straight line okay good so from this other end my CFF I'm coming in by 1.5 this is our assumed zipper allowance is 1.5 that I'm using so you can use one inch depending on what you want okay so I'll quickly take my ruler as I'm doing right now to give it a straight line starting from the shoulder line down to the end of the paper okay so i'll be telling you how to eliminate burk so that your zipper will not burk at the back in case if you're sewing directly on your fabric okay good so right now i'm going to get my front pattern and place on it 
leaving the two the 1.5 zipper allowance on its own as my paper is behind it so this is it okay this is my tracing wheel i'm going to use it to trace some lines that i'll be needing for the back not all the lines so by the time i trace them out and rejoice it you understand the necessary line that i'll be using okay because the back i wouldn't be having bust point line there so i'll be i will not add it to the back so just relax you will still get to understand what i'm doing so i'll quickly do this okay i don't want to start afresh to draft what i've already drafted for the front to the back so to make it easier and short and also to tell you another means to get things done on your pattern work that's what i'm using this my um tracing wheel to be able to trace another pattern on a fresh paper okay so good so what i'm going to do right now with my ruler i will trace out those lines i'm the only one saying it okay so i'll trace it for you to see the lines that i took out from the front line the necessary line that i'll still use for my back okay so it's labeled so let's start with the neck block okay from there i'm coming in by three inches okay then i'll come down by one inch and connect it to have a block form good so the next thing i'll do is to use my french curve and give it a neckline curve that's still the round neck so from this point i'll come down by one inch okay i will now connect it back to the neck block like so beautiful so for the armhole i'm going to still find the midpoint okay i'll mark it so i'll use my french curve and connect it back to the chest line so that's the difference between the front back armhole and the back uh, armhole so let's find out that from here i'll still mark that my 4.5 inches and open it up by 0.5 on both sides okay so i'm going to come down by one inch from the chest line and then give it a straight line to connect it back to the half length perfect so from this point i'll come down by six inches good so i'll still give it a straight line so i'm still going to connect it to the 0.5 inch that i already marked okay to form my diamond dot okay okay beautiful okay this is our diamond dot okay perfect that is it so the next thing i'll do is to measure my hip line whatever i have there i'll minus two from it i share it on both sides okay so i'm going to mark one inch here and one inch here to make it two inches i minus okay so i'll still connect it okay this core shape into shape your pattern so that your dress will have a very beautiful fit on your body okay good so now i'm going to teach you how to eliminate bulk on your zipper so from here i'm going to come in by 0.5 inch okay good so at this our armhole midpoint i'm going to make a straight line down to this point okay this is where i will stop this line as in where i'll connect to my 0.5 so i'm connected back to that 0.5 please you have to do this direct on your fabric okay so this is it when you place your pattern on your fabric you just do it like that so i'm connected back to my hip line okay good so this is the way you eliminate bulk from your clothes okay so right now here i'm going to create a vent i'm coming up by six inches good i've marked it then outside i'm ma making it 2.5 so you can make it three inches if you want to so i'm marking 2.5 again so i'll quickly connect it that's the way to form a slit or a vent okay so you can do it cut together on your pattern okay so that is it this is our back dress block see how beautiful it is already 
okay so if you are cutting you cut through this line but i don't want to cut this so i'm going to cut my front okay so i'm going to cut it to show you how to cut your pattern out after patterning it so you see sorry i'm being so quick on this but i think i try to hasten this video in order for it not to be too long or bold okay and i hope you really learned a whole lot in this video if you have any question please drop it for me in the comment section and don't forget to join our sewing group on facebook so we don't agree okay so believe me i'll answer you any question you have concerning this particular tutorial i'll answer you okay so guys i'll be posting another video on a beautiful dress that i'm going to make and i've already made it so i'm already on the video i'll be posting it maybe tomorrow or next okay you'll be learning a whole lot in this particular tutorial so this is the um, the dress that i'm going to make okay so it will be our next tutorial okay so this is the way to hold your darts okay and this place you'll be taking it out as an if you don't need it okay so this is the dress and it will also be nice if you watch this tutorial okay so thanks for coming around i really appreciate bye